Anyone else that would like to speak in opposition, please come forward. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, members of the Commission. My name is Gloria Smith. I'm here on behalf of the Bakersfield Refinery Coalition. We're not per se opposed to this project. Sometimes it's difficult when boards ask us to be, state our opposition or, our pro, or whether we're our proponents, and we're neither at this time. Um, first of all, I'd like to thank staff for the two years of hard work they've put into this project. Um, we've been involved in this project from the very beginning, and we especially apl applaud staff's um, recommendation to the county to approve a reduced project size that will not use the deadly chemical of HF. That's really been one of our largest issues from the very beginning. <clears throat> we, review, we view this as a very important safety victory for those living and working in the shadow of the refinery, and we hope that the county adopts the HF ban. In 2007 and 2008, the BRC submitted extensive comments on the Clean Fuels Project, but we were unable to fully analyze Alternative D. It's highly complex, and it was not, we, in our view, it wasn't fully developed in the EIR, um, and it omitted important impact information that we are still reviewing. When we hope to continue that reviewing and, and um, submit additional comments later in the week, next week. Our initial review shows that Alternative D presents significant unmated imp impacts on air quality and hazardous materials. Our hazardous materials expert has documented widespread and undisclosed contamination all over the refinery site. That's not, you know, it's completely understandable. It's, it's been a refinery, I think, since the 1920s. But these contaminants pose a risk to school children and refinery workers and in anyone working in project construction because these contaminants will be disturbed in construction and become airborne and they can flow over several miles. We'd really like to have that looked at. The EIR simply said that the water board will oversee this issue. But we have actually contacted the Water Board, and the Water Board says that it cannot approve the project's construction soils management plan, which supposedly addresses this is issue, because a plan will involve handling hazardous materials that are outside the Water Board's purview. It is the Department of Toxic Substances Control the agent is the agency that oversees hazardous materials, and we, in our view, the DTSC needs to be brought in right away to oversee this problem before construction begins and before the project is approved. Um, as you've heard, Alternative D also has significant impacts on air quality criteria pollutants, odor, and greenhouse gases. You haven't heard a lot about odor, but as far as we can to discern the new project is going to cause significant odors in, in, in all the people who have now moved out to the refinery perimeter. Concerning greenhouse gases, despite staff's additional mitigation, significant undisclosed greenhouse gas emissions remain. We will provide additional comments showing these unquantified emissions and provide additional mitigation measures. And we also understand that EPA is concerned about the project's greenhouse gas emissions as well. Thank you for this opportunity, and like I said, we will try to get supplemental comments in within the next week or so. Thank you. Good evening, commissioners and guests. My name is Kevin Korenthal. I represent the Central California Chapter of Associated Builders and Contractors of California. Um, our association, which is located here in Bakersfield, represents more than 100 construction firms uh, and oil field construction firms throughout the county of Kern. Um, I come to you this evening to, uh, to on behalf of them, uh, indicate uh, that ABC supports uh, Big West's endeavor on the Clean Fuels Refinery Project. And believe me when I tell you this was not an easy decision for this uh, group of people to make. Um, though some ABC members will benefit greatly from the construction jobs that will be uh, generated by this job, others unfortunately will watch their labor costs skyrocket as uh, the local labor market tightens with uh, with the need to fill these new positions. But the reason why it was important to ABC uh, to be heard here tonight is because of a certain issue that has uh, come up within this project. Uh, Ms. Gloria Smith uh, spoke in the opposition earlier this evening. Uh, she mentioned that she was from some group whose name I don't remember because I actually know who she really represents, and that is a big San Francisco law firm called Adams, Broadwell, Joseph, and Cardoza. Adams Broadwell, which is often uh, uh, known around the state as uh, the California Unions for Reliable Energy, or CURE, 
uh, as uh, part of a heinous activity throughout the state that ABC has been opposing and working against for some time now that we call green mail. What is also known as environmental extortion is a process by which groups like Cure uh, go before a uh, assigning body uh, such as the uh, uh, the city council or, or county that's responsible for signing the contract for a project indicates that they have uh, 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 environmental issues with this particular project mm -hmm. but in the meantime they coordinate their efforts with local business managers for local unions that descend upon that uh, contractual group uh, and begin uh, pushing for union only project labor agreements this is a heinous activity uh, that is going on around the state as I mentioned, mostly as California Unions for Reliable Energy, but as you can see from uh, Ms. Gloria uh, Smith's involvement in this project here, uh, they've obviously expanded their efforts. Um, I hope that uh, this board will move this project forward and send a strong message uh, to Adams and Broadwell that their type of heinous activity is not welcome in this community, and by doing so, move this project forward and help Bakersfield and Kern County move towards energy independence. Thank you. Thank you. Hey. Ladies and gentlemen, please refrain from clapping. Um, the one question I had um, of staff, if I could, is um, something you mentioned, Ms. Alviat. Um, uh, Miss, and it was echoed from some other speaker. Um, there was a speaker, um, uh, Gloria Smith, and she represented to me, and as far as I knew she was, she represented that she was representing the Bakersfield Refinery Commission. And then a speaker suggested that she was actually with the law firm, and you echoed that. It, um, to your knowledge, does, is Ms. Smith a resident of the county, and is she actually with this law firm? Uh, through the chair, uh, the Refinery Coalition that she referenced was referenced in the Adams and Broadwell letter. and. As far as I know, that is Ms. Smith. If I have misidentified the speaker, then perhaps the chairman could request a clarification. Is Ms. Smith still in the audience? Would you please come down? Again, would you state your name for the record? And uh, uh, pull that microphone down. My name is Gloria Smith. Okay. Would you like the list of the Bakersfield Refinery Coalition? Ma'am, I think the question was from um, Mr. Green. Are you a resident of Kern County? I am not. Are you affiliated with the law firm that was referenced? I absolutely am. Thank you. I would like to. At Thank you. I represent local Thank people you. who retired. Ma'am, if you don't stop speaking, I'll have you removed. <clears throat> Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman, thank you very much. Um, as a commissioner, one of the things um, I've learned is you rely upon people who are coming forward to speak. Um, I take all the speakers, unless I have some reason to believe otherwise, at their word. When I hear someone saying that they're representing a, a Bakersfield organization, I, I trust that. Um, the fact that the person speaking doesn't actually come from this area, is representing a law firm, is somewhat bothersome to me, and I thought disingenuous. 